Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Quick video today, just to take a look at something that I've been painting up quickly in order to run some more videos later on. Um, and it's the Daleks from Doctor Who Exterminate, which is a miniatures war game, uh, or a miniatures skirmish game, that I'm going to be, like I say, taking a look at in a little bit more detail in some future videos, hopefully. Um, now, the Doctor Who Exterminate game comes with uh, two factions. It comes, it comes with Daleks, uh, and it comes with my currently part-painted Cybermen. Uh, the Cybermen also get some Cybermats, and um, and the Daleks don't don't get anything else because the Daleks uh, they seriously outgun the Cybermen anyway because they're Daleks. Now, um, I've gone for a quick and, and dirty uh, paint scheme on these just to get them table ready quickly. Um, but before I started, um, I had to have a bit of a think about it because um, the way that the Doctor Who Exterminate game works is you don't have points when you build your army. You have um, cards and, and uh, you, you've got a whole bunch of these cards to pick from and they tell you what kind of uh, unit you take and how many models are in that unit. And um, all of the Daleks are, are just basic um, Time War Daleks. This is sort of the... Um, Christopher Eccleston era Daleks, and um, they all look the same except for one uh, one patrol leader, which they've got here, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, but I was a bit concerned uh, uh, making a concession to gameplay to have them. If you've got units on the board, you need to be able to tell which unit belongs to which card. Or at least that's what I was originally thinking in my head. So I started thinking about different colour schemes and having them... How could I group them off so that I could have um, a unit of three or there's some cards that give you units of just two. And I was thinking, what were the best schemes? Because anyone who knows anything about Daleks uh, knows that um, the that, that colour scheme can actually designate rank, um, depending on which period of, of, of Doctor Who you're, you're looking at. But all of these are just basic um, Time War Daleks. They're all supposed to be the same. Um, and then I realised, um, and I'll go into this in, in detail in another video um, when I come to sort of looking at army building. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, the cards are only really determining what individual units you bring to the board. Once you actually start playing the game, um, everything is treated as an individual model. And it doesn't matter which card they came from. You're, you, you're treating each one on the board as an individual skirmish piece. And once I realised that, I realised that I could get away with painting all of them, bar one, in the same colour scheme. And um, that's what I've done. And the uh, the good people at Warlord Games who make um, who make this game, they actually included um, a colour scheme in the rulebook for... A basic Dalek. So this is what this is what I, did. I basically to get them done quickly. I just painted them the way the way they suggested in the rule book, which is basically prime them, um, paint the whole thing bronze, uh, dry brush with gold, pick out the silver on the, on the weapons and the eye stalk, wash the whole thing. Um, oh, obviously the base as well. Wash the whole thing with um, with strong tone, uh, which is a uh, army painter product. Um, pick out the lights and pick out the um, electric blue dot on the eye stalk, and that's actually a paint scheme that's included in the instructions for the game. And you know, it looks pretty effective. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's it's quick and dirty. It's not um, it's not the, the most beautiful paint job in the world. But if you've got a whole bunch of Daleks and you want to get them on the table quickly, you know, I think. They look very, very nice, you know. And I was able to paint this whole, this whole force in in next to no time at all because there's no no real sort of detail work involved apart from you know picking out the, the lights on the top of the heads. Okay, um, but what the uh, the instructions don't include is um, any guidance for painting the the patrol leader who um, appears on the card in black. So, um, again, I went for a quick a quick and dirty solution. Um, so this is, this is what I've got here. Uh, basically, primed in black, um, dry brushed um, with, I believe it was plate mail, um, 
picked out a few extra details with a finer dry brush of Shining Silver, um, just to pick out uh, the guns and things like that. Um, and then I washed the whole thing in purple ink. And then, because um, um, I wasn't overly happy with the result of that, I washed the whole thing over again with Nuln Oil. Oh, obviously the, the lights are white, um, and the, uh, the Eye Stalker put a touch of white on just to bring a bit of colour. And then, um, again, with Electric Blue on the dot. And, you know, it's not winning any awards or anything. Um, but, that, but that's what I did, and, and he now gets to, gets to lead my forces into battle. He's going to lead, lead from the rear, as you do. Um, so that's it. I'm, I'm now I'm quickly splodging some paint on on my uh, my Cybermen to match. Again, I think Cybermen are even easier to paint than the Daleks. Really, it's it's quite a good set for people who don't really paint, but you know want to have some nice looking miniatures on on the board because you know Cybermen and Daleks are very very quick paint jobs. Um, and even, I mean, as you can see at the moment, all I've done uh, is, is, is sprayed the Dalek, okay. sprayed the Daleks uh, with with metal, with a metal primer. This is a um, an army painter gun metal primer, and and already, you know, that pretty much you could put that on the tabletop and be and be happy with that. Um, obviously, I'm going to do some more work. He's going to get ink washed, and there's going to be some details picked out on it. And obviously, the base is, I'm going to deal with as well. Daleks didn't have bases, which was one less thing to worry about. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I've that's what I've been doing with my time. Um, and uh, and there we have it. So that's that's my little army army of Daleks, and that's that's how I've been killing time. <laughs> the Doctor would not be impressed. I'll see you all again soon, everybody. Bye bye.